Okay, so uh, this is Dr. John Chung, uh, the author of this book. Okay, so I got many emails from many students to go over all of the tips in the book. Okay, okay, now try this one. Okay, maybe you can do this. The first tip one is a linear function. Okay, you know the, what is the linear, right? Linear, the graph of a linear function always a straight line. Okay, this straight line has a constant slope. Okay, that is a linear, right? The property of a linear is a constant slope. That's it, constant slope. I'm going to write down over here. Constant slope between any two point. This point, this point, this point. Always. Always a constant slope, okay? Slope doesn't change. That's the property of a linear function, okay? This slope doesn't change, okay? Always the fix the numbers, okay? So there are four different forms over here. Okay, so I want to memorize all these forms, okay? That is better for you. The first one is slope and intercept form, okay? Y equals mx plus y. Okay? This intercept is a y intercept, okay? Y intercept. A second one is when you have a slope and a point, you can use this slope, point to slope form, okay? Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. That is a point to slope form, okay? That both will be accepted, okay? Any form is okay. The third one is general form, AX plus BY plus C equals zero. One side is zero. We said this form is, uh, with this form, like general form, okay? The last form is with standard form. This is very important. Okay, just you can see that there. Variable terms, constant terms separated, okay? So, AX plus BY equals to C, okay? That is a standard form. Usually, okay, A and A, B, C, they are integer, okay? You know that. All right, slope formula over here, okay? Slope is what change in Y over change in X, okay? Don't forget this one. That's the slope, okay? If two points is given, right? So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That is the slope. Another will be a notation of a point, okay? You will use this one, okay? Order the pairs. So x is x coordinate first, y coordinate second. That is uh, order the pairs, we said. x is the first, y is the second. But this one, sometimes we can use this one too, okay? Instead of y, because we know that y equals f of x, okay? So we replace with the f of x. That's fine too. The last notation of point is when you have this one, f of x equal y, that represents a point, okay? x and y. So over here, when we have this one, f of negative 3 is 5, that means a point. When x is negative 3, y is 5, okay? All right, that's all. This is... Uh, Topic one, okay? Now we're gonna try some uh, practice. I'm gonna make it big, that is better. All right. Yeah, for linear function. Uh, f of zero is two, f of three is five. What is the k equals f of five? What that means? All these three are point. That's right. All this problem in general, I'm gonna do this one. Zero and two. Second point, three and five. Third point, when x is 5, y is k, okay? We have a three point here. But we know that, okay, between any two points, they always, they always what? Constant slope, right? First, these two points, we're going to find the slope. y2 minus y1, okay? 5 minus 2 is a 3. 3 minus 0 is 3. Slope is 1. That's the slope. Slope is 1. Then we're going to try, okay? These two point or first or last two point. It's, it doesn't matter. I want this one. It's okay too. K minus two and the five minus three is a five. That is equals one. Okay, same slope. So times five both sides. After that, you can add two there. Right? K equals seven. Okay, that's the answer. Okay. So how do you think? It's so easy, right? Just use my like, constant slope when linear function is given. Okay. Okay, I'm going to select right, some of these questions. We cannot uh, solve every question on this top, topic one, okay? Right. Maybe we can try this one. Okay. We have a three selected number there. So 
these two variable y is a variable, right? So we don't need to right, find the right individually, okay? Just uh, sum of these two numbers, how much? So using this slope, okay? Between these two points. Okay, 12 minus A. Or 1 minus 0 is 1, okay? That's the slope. What's the slope between these two? B minus 12. And uh, 2 minus 1 is 1, still 1, okay? So numerator must be equal, right? The number just, they are equal 1, okay? So from here, can you find this expression from the equation? Yes, you can do that. Plus a both sides, okay? This is, forget about this one. Plus a both sides. So right inside is now a plus b. And this is a plus 12 plus 12, right? It's going to be 24. Are you okay with this? So that's the answer, right? a plus b is 24. Okay, take a look at the next one over here. You have a linear function ax plus by plus c equals zero in the general form. Okay, a is a positive, b is a negative, c is a positive. Okay, which of the following graphs best represent the graph of this one? We have a four different graphs over here. Okay, when you take a look over here, a, b, a is a negative slope, b is a positive slope, c is a negative, d is a positive slope, and also they have different y intercept. Okay, we're going to check out this one. So better use a slope intercept form, right? Because uh, slope intercept form give us slope and y intercept together, okay? So by equals, you can say by equals negative ax and minus c, okay? After that, you can divide by b. Divide by b. So this one is cancelled out. So what is the slope of it? Oops, okay, that's fine. You can use different color, okay? Negative A over B, Y intercept. Y intercept is negative C over B, okay? Now check out the their sign, positive or negative, okay? A is a positive, so this one is A is a positive. I'm going to replace with a positive. B is a negative. Whole thing is positive, right? Negative over negative, positive. What about y intercept? C is a positive. B is still negative. This also a negative over negative. This is still positive, okay? All right, so positive slope and positive y intercept. We already did this one. This is a negative y intercept. Not working. So this is what? Positive slope, positive y intercept. Choice D is then okay? Okay, number five, it will be okay, right? right? Okay, we try this. So f of three is two and uh, f of five is six. What is the y-intercept of the graph of f? Where is the y-intercept over here? You can express y-intercept using this, okay? Zero and y or zero and b, okay? This is y-intercept because the x coordinate is zero. Okay, now let's find the slope also. This is a point is 3 and 2. Second point is a 5 and 6. This is third point is 0 and B, okay? So between this point, they have a slope. 6 minus 2 is a 4. 5 minus 3 is a 2. That is equal to B minus 6 over 0 minus 5 is negative 5, okay? That's the equation. Okay, that is equals to 2, right? That is equals to 2 over here. 4 over 2 equals 2. From the equation, you can find the value B over here, okay? B minus 6 equals negative 10, okay? After that, you can add 6 both sides. Plus 6, plus 6, okay? B equals to negative 4 is the answer, okay? Choice D is the answer. Okay, this time is uh, x-intercept. Okay, this is the same as oh, this one, okay? Okay, that's fine. Okay, x-intercept, you can use this one, a and zero, right? That is the x-intercept. So, there's a three point there. Three and negative two, four and negative four, 
a and zero. Okay, okay. The slope of between these two points. Negative four, negative. Okay, write down. Negative four minus minus two over four minus three. Okay, that is equals to negative two over one is negative two. Right, that's the slope. Okay, between these two points. 0 minus minus 4, a slope is a positive 4 over a minus 4. That should be equals to a negative 2, right? This one equals to negative 2, right? Okay. 4 divided by negative 2, that is negative 2, right? So, a minus 4 is negative 2, a equals how much? Plus 4 plus 4 is what 2, right? Plus 4 and plus 4, that's going to be equals to 2. Okay. A is 2, is the answer. Okay. okay, take a look at the other color. Okay, that's fine. Try number 7 over here, okay? Number 7 and 8. Or and the 10, okay? That's why. I'm going to try number 7. This is a very popular ISS equations, but that is so easy, okay? Just to define the function f of x using this uh, four point, okay? So all possible equations are given here, okay? So we can try the first one. Any point is okay. You can try this one because uh, this point is not a good idea, right? When x equals 0, they all got the 4. Okay? When x equals 0, they are all 4. Okay? 4, 4, 4, 4. That is not good. So instead of this point, we can try the next point over here. When x is 1, y is 2. Check it out. Which of the following satisfy these conditions? Okay? When x is 1 over here, 4 minus 1 is 3, not 2. That is not working. 4 minus 2 times 2 is 4. I'm sorry, 2 times x is 1, right? I'm sorry. x is 1 is 2, that is 2, right? Oh, that is correct. Anyway, try the next one. 4 plus 2 times 1 is 2, that is 6. That is not equal to 2, that is not working. The third one is 4 plus 1 is 5, not equal to 2, right? It should be equal to 2. That is not working. So, choice B is this, okay? Or you can find this equation of the line, okay? You, just, you can find it easily, right? That slope. 2 minus 4 over 1 minus 0 is 1. Okay? Slope is negative 2. That's the slope. And this point is already what? Y intercept. So the equation of this one, okay, negative 2x plus 4, isn't it? Y intercept is already given. This is empty. Okay? Okay, the next one is number 8. So we have equation, okay? Uh, F equals 9 over 5 is C plus 32. This is a converting formula, right, from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, okay? So this is a given. 27 is given. This is what? Change in Fahrenheit, delta F. I'm going to use this one, delta F. That is 27. This is a given, okay? Change in F. So what is the change in F? Change in Celsius. We're going to find, okay, this one. So we don't know, right, how much increase the problem where, okay, it doesn't matter, okay. Anyway, that is what slope, right, change in F over a change in C, that is equals to what, 9 over 5, okay. Okay, substitute over there, that is 27. How about this one? 9 times 3 is 27. 5 times 3 is about 15, right? This one will be 15, okay? Delta C must be equals 15. That's the answer, okay? All right. Okay, this is the same questions, okay? P is increased by 35. This is a line over here, okay? P is increased over here. This is 35. From here, it doesn't matter, okay? Any point is okay. From here, increase 35. What is the increase in K? Delta K, we're going to find this is delta P, okay? So delta P over delta K, that is equal to how much? 7 over 12. Okay. 
Okay. But delta B is given. That's 35. I will get 35 from 7 times 5 times 5. Okay, equivalent. Okay. So delta K must be equal to what? 12 times 5 is 60. Okay. That's the answer. Okay. Okay, one more over here. Okay. This one. This is a little the hard question, okay? Hard question, okay? That's fine. So <clears throat> the line is tangent to the circle, and this circle tangent to x and y axis, okay? And radius is given 5. Radius is given 5. This is radius. This is also radius, right? Okay. We need this line, okay? So what is the 8? Eight? 8 is what? From here to here, up to this point is 8, perpendicular, okay? So using this 8, we can find the value of t, okay? Make a little extended line over here. This is uh, right triangles. So what is the length of this side? 8 minus 5 equals 3, okay? When you take a look, this is the right triangle, right? Okay, what is the right triangle triplet? 3, 4, 5, okay? This is the point. So what is the length of this one from the point to the what x axis? Okay, that is what? five, five plus four is nine. Okay, this is nine. So choice nine is the answer. Okay. Okay, let me see. Or other words, the same thing, right? The graph is given and a point is given. Okay, when x is a point to right hand side. Okay, when x is a point to Y is n. Okay, I'm gonna make a big. <clears throat> so what is the value of n? Where is the other point? Here you go. You have other point here and here, right? This is what zero two. Uh, this one is a negative three zero. Okay, that's the point. Okay, now let's find the slope of it. Slope is what from the graph you can find. This is two. This is three, right? Slope is two over three. Okay. Slope is 2 over 3. So what's the slope between these two points? I'm going to, okay, we can start the big one, okay. What's slope? m minus 0, that is m, over 42 minus minus 3, right? 42 minus minus 3. That is equal to 2 thirds. Okay, now let's solve this one. m over 42 minus minus 3, 45. That is equals 2 over 3. You can use cross multiplications. Or well, you know that, right? 3 times 15 is 45. 2 times 15 is about 30 is the value of m, okay? B. 